Good morning once again guys. It is a wonderful, beautiful, sunny day. Apparently, um, apparently we're not having fall right now. They just teased us with fall. This is the second time that I started filming this morning. If you watched yesterday's vlog, then you'll know why. And the other thing is, is today, absolutely, 100%, without a doubt, fog. We're doing the fog today. Dude. Really? Wow. And I just got through doing a Snapchat. Just got through. It's over there actually on repeat. Because I've hit every single red light. Every one. For the last three miles. All the way across town. And here's another one. And I thought that I was going to start vlogging and that I'd start getting green lights. It hasn't worked yet. Yes, my mom didn't go. My mom didn't go. Jeez. Starting out this clip and I can't even speak English. My mom did go and get me some groceries and dad did too. But I also have a bunch of stuff that was left over. That was left here. And so there's all this chicken. So I'm going to make some, some chicken in the crock pot. And then I'm, it's just going to be like a big potpourri of, is that right? Potpourri. Cluster F of stuff. So I've got some chicken gravy I'm going to throw in the mix and I'm not sure if I should do lime. Let's do lima beans and mixed vegetables. Let's throw that in there too. And then uh, mom brought some potatoes so I'll throw some uh, potatoes in there too and just let the crock pot cook and ooh, maybe I'll put some cheese on top too after it gets going or whatever. Sounds good, right? It, it's just, this, <laughs> this is bachelor food. This is what we do. <laughs> So many people are going to be like, oh my gosh, you're such a man. <laughs> so anyway, hey, at least I'll have this awesome meal to eat at my new table. And you guys can see it a little bit better today. It's just, I love the rich, dark color of it. It's just so beautiful. I just want to give you guys an update. That's a daily update. And yes, the fog is over there. White balance, thank you. And we're going to do the fog today. And uh, I can't remember who it was. I'll read it in COC later, but <laughs> my biggest fan. Get it? Because that's a big fan. Do you see what they did there? And I copied it. Yeah. Mixed vegetables, potatoes, lima beans, gravy, and chicken. It actually smells good so far. So far, so good. Got to go work on cars now. Yay. Is this creepy? Ladies and ghouls, it is the time that you have like really been waiting for. It is time to open and unbox the fog juice. I'm excited. And this fog juice is made by Simply Solutions. And I'll give you more information once we get inside it. Get inside the box. It comes with peanuts. Don't try this at home, but these are the peanuts that get wet. And they're made of cornstarch, so they disappear. So, environmentally friendly peanuts. And here we go. Whoa! I've been trying to think about how and what to say about this product, and then I looked at the label online because this is available through Amazon. Simply Solutions on Amazon. The label says everything. So there's not much work for me to really do, except to say that Simply Fog Juice is a premium, thick, eco-friendly fog juice made from natural ingredients, Environmentally friendly, safe to breathe, lingers longer, no calcium buildups or hard water stains. And it's made for professionals, uh, outdoor events, indoor events, laser shows, Halloween, haunted houses, DJs, parties, theaters, special effects, lighting, and training. And it's made in the freaking USA. Outstanding. The major thing about this, guys, is propylene glycol, which is in pretty much all of the fog juices is really really a bad thing to breathe and if you've ever worked in a haunted house that's had it you get like the the coughing and the dry throat and the other thing to note too is propylene glycol is also used in like e-cigarettes and uh, nicotine patches it's what carries all this stuff to our blood so if you were to have like mold in your haunted house that attaches itself to the fog and then it brings it in now you've got mold and there's actually a lawsuit going on right now because of that. So get away from the lawsuits. We're going to try this now and we're going to be able to see it during the daytime and then we're going to try it at night also. There was a note 
I didn't read the note. I opened the box, I got excited about the fog juice, and found that there was a note. So indulge me guys just for a second because there's like important information in here. They said thank you for allowing us to submit our product for review. They also say that basically just because you know they sent this to me or whatever, don't let that sway my judgment on the actual product. They're certain that they're providing a very thick and long lasting fog and want to make sure the product speaks for itself. He says it better in the letter than what I just got through saying, but so some of this will be reiteration a little bit. It's a paragraph. The reason behind creating a non-glycol formula was due to documents coming from Dow Chemical Company stating not to use propylene glycol in theatrical smoke and fog formulas. The ongoing lawsuit involving a girl who was in a vegetative state for a year before passing away after visiting a haunt in St. Louis back in 2010, they were using another name brand fog, I won't say the name, as well as the personal experience we've had at our own haunt with glycol-based fog formulas. Many of our employees and some customers had stated that in areas where there was heavy fog, they had some throat and eye irritation. That's when our owner decided to formulate his own brand that doesn't use glycols. Since the invention of Simply Fog Juice, we haven't had any complaints from employees or consumers. We're putting out a thicker fog and a fog that lingers much longer than the glycol-based formulas we've used in the past. It also does not give off a weird odor like some of the glycol-based formulas. The Fog Juice is also made in an FDA-registered manufacturing facility. And they have both the quart, the gallon, and 55 gallons. And you can find it also at www.simplyfogjuice.com. So let's try it. We're just gonna do this down and dirty, guys. This is just the fog machine that I pulled out of storage yesterday, uh, cleaned it, so we're gonna put the solution in and we're just gonna fire it up, see what it does. Opening the fog from the sealed container that Troy needs two hands to open because I can't, oh wait, wait, wait for it. Oh, ooh, I think I got it, I think I, I did, I got it, I think. Ah, yes, success with one hand, maybe, uh oh. Oh, there we go, success with one hand, oh! All right. Well, they have to make sure that it doesn't leak during shipment. So I understand this. Okay, there we go. Awesome. And now we're going to go, 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 go into the fog machine. And I missed a little bit. That's okay. And because this fog juice is safer than regular fog juice, I have to stick with that theme. We have to make sure we clean up our spills because there are electronics in here. So don't spill. Use a funnel. Don't do what Troy does. See, I'm just showing you what not to do. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, I gotta watch out, make sure that nobody calls the cops saying there's a fire. Excellent, love it. Now, the wind is picking up right now a little bit, guys, but what I think I'm most impressed with is even though it's like almost 80 degrees outside today, if it wasn't for the wind, this would still be pretty low as far as fog is concerned. So if you guys want to get in on this awesome fog solution that is healthier for you than just the regular stuff, uh, then all the links are going to be down in the description. And you can also uh, shoot uh, Rob an email and he would be happy to answer any of your questions. See, it's not bad to breathe. That's good. Because it's so uh, breezy today that it does, doesn't give the fog a whole lot of time to um, build up in one area. The, the wind keeps carrying it away. but. As you can see, we are now full <laughs> in this little area after only about like 30 seconds to 45 seconds of running the fog machine in there. This doesn't have a smell to it, but it's foggy in here and that's awesome. I love fog. Four hours later. And the wind is calmer now so you guys can see this camera's having a hard time focusing because it's so foggy. When they say that this fog is long lasting, guys, they are not joking. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. This right here is just hanging here in the street. <laughs> I need to turn it off. Somebody's going to call the fire department. Oh my God, that's awesome. Yep, can't see the front yard. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, guys, so there's your fog test. At night. Like I said before, the links are down in the description. Um, this is some awesome stuff. Okay, on with other things. I do have a car to get done. So, buy your fog. Do it now. Still working on cars, getting it done. You actually have to move this whole bumper forward in order to get to the timing belt on this. It's really, <laughs> it's really stupid, but you know, job security, I guess. Every time I go in the house now, 
Ah, I smell dinner. It's smelling good. You guys remember that I did the whole chicken thing or whatever. I don't know what it's looking like, and I guess I should stir it, but... Whoa, hey, that's not looking too shabby. So I guess the uh, gravy is just going to be more of a flavoring than it is going to be any kind of gravy, because there's, there's a lot of water in there. I guess it's coming out from the chicken, but the chicken looks like it's getting done. Definitely going to have to put some cheese on it, because cheese, added to anything, makes things rock. Cheese brings it together. I really don't agree with this whole getting darker earlier business. I think it's for the birds. I need to mow the yard because I fertilized it the other day and now it's like the grass is on crack. <laughs> so I need to go and whack it. I need to whack the grass. Quick mow. Yay! I did it and the crowd goes wild. I think that was the fastest I ever mowed that grass. My Aunt Katie and my cousin stopped by once again. Um, cool thing number one. Oh, they got... Phoenix some more Duplo blocks. And cool thing number two, they got some, some candy corn Hershey's and this stuff really tastes like candy corn. It's really good. Um, bad thing number one, they got candy corn, uh, I don't know, the cupcake thingies. <laughs> I ate them all. That's the bad thing. <laughs> I ate them before I vlogged them. And then they also brought this over for Phoenix too. This is a, a hand-me-down in really good shape. And Phoenix is going to have so much fun with that. So I thank them. It's, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> this time right now is just, this, this, I don't know, this transition is so interesting. And it's just so heartwarming to have so many people come forward and offer their, their help. Speaking of help, oh my gosh, um, that is business stuff that I need to take care of. I don't even want to show you my desk, although I just did. And I'm not done working on the car out front. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop on the car out front and I'm going to handle that stuff. I'm going to try and end the vlog early today so that I can go to bed at a decent hour. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Let's see if I can do it. What time is it? Five clocks in the kitchen and I can't see what time it is. Oh, shoot. <laughs> it's 9.04. Let's see if I can make it to bed by midnight. What do you guys think? I won't be able to do it. I might be able to. Time check. 1019. I am showered. I'm sitting down to eat. Hmm, interesting. Smells good. Oh, that's better. Told you guys, cheese makes everything better. Alright guys, here we go. Are you ready? Ah! Ah! Not bad. Nope, not bad. That's pretty good. I can cook! Don't forget, on Monday the 21st, we're all going to be watching Psycho together at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to uh, follow us on You Now, Halloween Hellmouth, because you watch the movie, we watch the movie over here, you guys watch us and watch my friends and everybody comment on the movie and have fun over here, and we all just kind of comment on the, on the movie and have fun. This is a trial. I just want to see how it goes. No zitch. And it's time for cock. Only 17 comments tonight, so we're gonna try and get to all of them. So, John John 9111 first. Yay! I hope Travis, dude man, bro, homie, you are the man. Too bad it's not a monster truck bed. I know Phoenix will love his race car bed. I think he will too. And the Energized replied to you saying, totally agree, your friend Travis is just awesome. What a kind-hearted thing to do. You have some genuine friends there, Troy. I really do. I, I, I'm not a religious man, but I guess you could say that I, I'm blessed. Um, I, I'm very fortunate, I will say. Capzone 2, Travis, what a surprise to see him and all the wonderful gifts. I guess it is fair to say he's not the surprise guest you're waiting for. No, it's not. Surprise guest gets here Monday. DMB for one ever. Travis, you rock! Yes, Travis certainly does. And you guys can watch him from the very beginning of the vlogs, too, when I was uh, building the prop car. Uh, Wackus. I oh, know I get that wrong. Wackus? Sorry. 85. Travis is proof that there are still good people in this world. You should have taken a mannequin from storage to keep you company. I actually thought about it because it was just kind of spooky. But I might actually spook myself out if I put him in the front room and go out to pee or something and be like, ugh. LJ Mike 1204 I bet that thing in the corner behind the box is Troy's biggest fan. Oh, it was you that said that. Okay, so there you go. I'm giving credit where credit was due. Earlier in the vlog, it was LJ Mike 1204 that said that. Mr. Zombie is hungry. Troy, never be self-conscious of looks from other drivers when speaking to your webcam. You should see some of the looks I get when I realize I'm getting into my music just a bit much. Causes some smiles and laughs, but hey, gotta enjoy the ride, right? Absolutely. 
Jason Christopher 77 bachelor pad is coming together. That's a nice table. You should stain your kitchen cabinets. It's a cheap project and would make your kitchen look fresh. Uh, yeah, but all the cabinets are painted and I'd have to strip all of them first. And that's that's a project in like five days in itself. And of course, the way that I finish projects, five years. Yeah. Branson Haunted Hills. Wow, how awesome of Travis. Phoenix will love that bed. And that kitchen table and chairs are beautiful. That is better than what we have. Funny thing, Travis said that uh, with the tables, like, I was actually thinking about giving you my table and taking this one. <laughs> um, and you go on to say, yes, you should try Google Hangouts, even though their chat sucks. Rest is cool. And yes, you should do a video of Dollar Tree. I'll probably do that within the next couple days. Dab it 353. Ah, haunt storage. And good to see the atomic brain still lives. Haunters for life. Heck yeah. Steven Herrera, if you ever want to come to the country scariest haunted attraction haunted attraction i would definitely take you personally to it here in louisiana if you ever get a chance to come down here we have the country's top haunts here we got a couple of good ones here too but you're probably right jacob kreiner wow he has never read my comments before that is so amazing well i just read another one uh gn bros 11 this is awesome troy joe apple very long comment on a basically uh a give a an abridged copy a cliff note if you will Troy, when I went through my difficult personal stuff years ago, I truly found out who my real friends are and who truly love me. Um, yeah, I'm going through all this. I'm quickly finding that out. Uh, Emerald Gypsy Heart. Travis, you freaking rock! Yes, yes, he absolutely does. Give me a second to read through your comment. And edit point here. And edit point here. Um, yes, yeah, so I just read your comment. See, I'm quick. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring the uh, sponsor board out to announce that the haunt is not going to be here this year. This year, That will go up the 1st of October. And um, what was the other thing? I'm on a schedule of cleaning windows. I only clean my windows every once every five years. <laughs> so I don't clean anybody else's windows. <laughs> Trip 27, loving the new Phoenix bed. All I had was a kid was a bit with a bed... <laughs> All I had as a kid was a bedspread with a red Mustang printed on it. I actually had Star Wars blankets at one time. And Jeff's Yard Haunt to round it up for tonight. Tonight was opening night for the pro haunt I work at. Awesome. Thumbs up. How'd it go? Alright guys, happy haunting. No, I haven't had too much sugar. I just want to get through this really quick and I can actually speak kind of fast sometimes if I don't fumble my words. Happy haunting guys. See you tomorrow. Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Shit! <laughs> You're not in Kansas anymore! Uh, Lieutenant Dan, he got mad. <laughs>